knee pads at www.queenpoolwear.com. Use my code Vera10 for a sweet discount. I'm really loving their nude collection lately, and I feel it's a great pair for all things pull. The back part is nice and sticky where it needs to be. These don't move, they stay put, and they're great for floor work. We begin by facing our mirror. I am on the left side of my pole. My inside arm is my right arm. My inside leg is my right leg. I'm gonna turn to face my pole. We begin by spreading the feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, getting onto our pivot points so it looks like this. How far away from the pole? About a shoe, a foot length away from the pole. From here, shoulders are going to be down and back, really arching, showing off that little shape. Okay, think long neck, pointing the toes. Posture is everything. Hands are going to be about nipple or belly level, and we're going to complete two body waves, initiating with the head and chest. One and two. After your two body waves, you're going to set up for your pirouette. Back leg, your right leg is going to do a sharp accent. Kick your butt and reach behind the other leg. Right leg is behind. I turn my hips to face the wall behind me. So from the top, here we go. Roll, roll, and chop, chop. Nice. From here, my weight is mostly on my left leg. So my weight is on this leg, right? So I'm sharp here, straight leg. I'm going to set up for my pirouette. If you don't know how to pirouette, pause this video and go see my pirouette video. Link is in the description. You'll do your pirouette, turn into your pole, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Outside arm, left hand, is going to press down into the pole in the split grip with your index finger down, the rest of the fingers wrapped around the pole. You're pulling from the top like crazy, you're pushing from the bottom like crazy so that you're suspended, so you can keep turning, drag your heels, and land. From here, we're going to Send our head to the left of the body. Chin goes down into the chest, head goes to the left, and we're going to take the hips to the right. Bra, while straightening both legs into this position. Notice my back foot is flexed. I like it that way, but if you want to be here, that's fine. From here, you're going to grab the pole, which should already be inside your stronghold grip, right, inside your armpit. You're gonna grab and pull. This hand is more or less face level or a little slightly above the shoulder, and you're really squeezing this elbow into the body so that you can get a tight hold. Left arm is gonna go above that right hand. It's gonna also gonna squeeze in breath so that you can be suspended as you drag and open the legs into this position here. My hips and my butt are against the pole as much as I can. I'm also trying to get my waist next, next to the pole, nice and cozy, so that I'm well supported. From here, we're going to slowly turn both knees to the right. So we are externally rotating the right leg, internally rotating the left leg so that we can slowly glide our left knee to the floor. From this position, I'm going to turn into my pole for yet another pirouette, right? My, I'm going to kind of like allow my foot to sickle a little bit, for those of you that this is sickling, I'm gonna allow my front foot to do that so that I can rotate and pivot around the edge of my heel for that cute little aesthetic. Whoa, you see that? That looks really like warpy and cute. I personally love that. Anyway, so we're going to create that womb by externally rotating, or let me see, this is called supination, right? Supination of the uh, ankle for my anatomy nerds. Um, supinate through the ankle, sickle the foot, and you're pivoting on this knee. Look, on this left knee, you're rotating, while at the same time going for another pirouette. Outside arm goes below, pushes into the pole. Now your knee is gonna go through where you are and the pole, in front of the pole, right? Then you're gonna slide that foot through and out and regrip. Your foot is still in that cute sickle position because now we're gonna show off our heels, right? By the way, Make sure this back foot is not ugly and relaxed like that. Make sure it's active and pressed the whole time. Much cuter. So we're gonna sickle, the front foot keeps sickling, and now we're gonna show off the heels. So what I'm doing here is I am really externally rotating my hip. 
Okay, when I externally rotate my hip, my, my right knee falls to the side. Okay, what is my back doing? My back is leaning. Back and uh, traps are leaning against the pole for support. I'm pulling from that top arm, really actively engaging. Don't just hang here, it's not good for the shoulder. Really make sure you're pulling and pushing with the bottom arm in that split grip position. Here we go. Warpy, keep going, enjoy. See how much range of motion you can get here? Maybe create this little diamond shape, right? And then we're going to uh, straighten the leg and drag it in front. Notice how I also pivoted my hips to show my booty off, okay? Change the top arm to a cup grip, bend the right knee as you allow yourself to keep turning and sink into this nice little moment where you can catch your breath and rest. Let's take it from the top. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder on our pivot points. Here we go. Wave, wave, right? Accent, Zoom. keep going. Bra, bum, and glide, and down. Notice how I'm on my pivot points. Don't have your heels down, this is horrible. Not cute, not right now. From here, we're going to turn the head, booty up, bra, okay? And start thinking, not only are we turning the head and the booty goes up, but we're also thinking of taking the head and the chest in towards the pole and then out and around, because that's gonna help us get into our next position. So, in towards the pole, but now look, out and around. I'm taking my head and chest out and around so that I can grab, and glide, sink. Here, let's add a little accent, why not? Let's release the top arm and boom, close the knees. I love doing little accents like that, boom. Okay, now we're gonna re-grab again, turn our head to the back of the room as we externally rotate the front hip, internally rotate the back hip, which is the left hip. Now we're in this cute little position. We're going to put our weight on our left knee, we're gonna turn into our pole, sickle that foot, sickle that foot, keep sickling that foot, diamond, ooh, such a cute position, keep going. See if you can straighten the leg now. Around, regrip with the hand, and down. Cool. From here, right arm is gonna go behind the pole, just flat like this, behind the pole for support. Left arm's gonna go a little bit higher than like eye level, more or less eye level, in front of you in a cup grip where the thumb and all the fingers are on the same side of the pole. Yes, we're not grabbing around with the thumb around. No, thumb is on the same side as the pole. And we're going to put our weight into our left knee. I'm sorry, into our right knee. Weight is on the right knee. We're leaning back away from the audience so that we can shift our weight to the right side of our body so that then our left leg is free. So with our left leg being free, we kick it back. Create a nice little shape here really quick. So we're gonna go boom, and then we're gonna pivot on this right knee and we're gonna bring our left leg forward, okay? And my head is gonna kind of Stay there. It's up to you if you want to like wave into this or if you want to keep the leg straight. I, I guess I'll keep the leg straight. Boom. Then from here, let's enjoy this little um, view that we have here going. So let's release the pull, caress the hand down the leg, right? Show off those little curves, yes? And now we're going to take the top leg back, go back to where we came from. Bottom arm is gonna push and regrip high, okay? This leg is gonna keep swiveling back. I'm gonna also regrip now with the bottom arm. So now I'm in my stronghold again. I'm gonna pull suspend myself and drag the legs into yet another little deep squat. Inside leg, we're gonna turn it in to create this cute little shape. I'm gonna let my head go back as I stay on my pivot points, pull hard as hell, push my knees forward. Think about knees forward. Don't think about going up, think about knees forward. Here we go, knees forward, head back. Oh my God, I'm standing up, yes? Now look, I'm really extended away from the pole right now, I'm on my pivot points. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my butt back to the pole. I'm gonna really 
arch. Open my chest really arch and take my hips to meet my pole. And now I'm just gonna hang out here and finish my tanks. Let's do it from the top with the back view. Here we go. And body wave, body wave, sharp, boom, boom. Keep going, glide, open, down, head, goes back and out and around. Grab into your stronghold and drag. Accent with the knees, yes. Turn the head, land gracefully as you internally and externally rotate uh, your left and right legs. Sickle that foot to keep pirouetting. Set yourself up, keep pirouetting. Finish facing your audience. Now this leg that threaded through that little window, keep sickling that foot. Come to say hello to your diamond position. Sickle through the outside of the foot. Straighten, bring it around, regrip the top hand. Take the head back and control your landing. Enjoy your rest. Bring the right arm behind the pole for support. Left hand is a little bit above the eyes. We're going to lean to the right as we kick and extend our left leg. We're gonna pivot the left leg um, to the front of the pole, show off this angle. Go ahead and caress your, your thighs and your booty and your hips, whatever you wanna caress, it's up to you. Um, you can also caress your hair, um, like in a little P shape, you know, like P, letter P, around the head, boom. Whatever you want to accentuate. Remember, whatever you touch, people will look at. So whatever you want people to look at, touch it. So, fine, come back. We're going to take our top leg back to where we came from, push from the right arm, regrip the pole into my armpit stronghold, outside hand is gonna go above that, I'm gonna squeeze like crazy, pull myself up so that I can glide my feet into position. I'm really leaning into my pole, you see like, use the pole for support. Uh, right leg is gonna internally rotate a little bit for that cute angle, I like to show off the heels. And we're gonna think about knees forward. Remember, don't think about hips up, think about knees forward and head back. Wow, as you pull, and here we are on our pivot points, active ankles, holy, holy cow. And we're gonna pull from, with the pole, we're gonna pull as we arch our back and put our hips and butt on the pole. And you can bend the inside leg, touch yourself, finish your little mini dance, however you want to. So I'm gonna play a song from the YouTube free music list. I know their music is not the best. My advice to you is learn this little choreo and then just kind of apply it to whatever music you like. Really, this can be applied to any type of music and uh, really the best you're gonna dance, you're gonna dance the best when you like the music that you're listening to. When you feel that music and it just like kind of takes over, that's usually when you dance your best. Anyway, so please pick your own song. Sorry, this music sucks. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and wave. And wave. Chop, chop. Pirouette, suspend, glide, and down. Booty up. Legs hard and strong, turn into your strong grip. Grip and glide. Accent. And turn the knees, pivot point, okay? Keep going through your pirouette. Enjoy. Around, head movement, okay? And down. Hand to the back, lean to the right, strain the leg, bring it forward, touch. Caress, whatever you want to caress. Grab again, go back, arm down, and knees forward, head back. Pull, ready, and head, boom, boom, chop, turn, grab, drag, down. The wider the legs, the better. And turn the head, wrap into your stronghold so you can drag the legs and drop a little bit, add some texture, okay? Release the top hand, accent, turn to the right. Stay on that pivot point, make sure it looks cute. Do something pretty with the face, okay? Cute, uh, get ready for your 
pirouette, start sickling that front foot, sickle, go through, keep sickling, grab from the top, pull and push as you enjoy this little motion here. Notice that you're really external, you rotate rotated in the hip and you're trying to open the hips. So open and then take the hips forward so you can straighten that leg. Bring around, regrip from the top, control your landing. Pay attention to your head movement here. Make it look nice. Move it a little bit. Regrip. Uh, place the top arm on the floor. Now, cup grip with the left. Lean to the right. Straighten the left. Bring it forward. Release the hand from the pole. Caress. Do some little waves here. Okay to accentuate however you would like to. Take the top leg back, grab, grab, pull like crazy, drag both feet into position, internally rotate the front leg for the angle. I like this angle more than this angle. So here we are, and hips forward, knees forward, and knees and hips shoot forward, head goes back, extend, pull the pole to you, as you are, you take your butt back onto that pole and finish your dance however you want to finish. Take a minute and breathe and let me know if you're with me right now. I want to know who's freaking learning this right now. Type something in the comment box. Are you enjoying it? Where are you stuck? Tell me something. Let me know that I'm here with you, Vera. Let me know. Talk to me. Thanks. Also, like the video, you know, it kind of helps. Like, just push that little button that says like. <laughs>